So if you come by and were to say hi, welcome, this is Cameron F89. We're here in Azusa, California at the local McDonald's, uh, 980 East Alasta Avenue, aka Route 66. Thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, I'm using, borrowing actually, the McDonald's Wi-Fi here in for my Foodie Friday. And of course, as it says, it says a uh, drink and a snack. Yes. Uh, what are we going to try today? Well, since I decided that uh, I wanted to do something kind of separate where the food... Uh, where the food segments here on Twitch uh, are separate from the Cameron's Pantry one. Well, I found out with, as, as it is right now, right here, just doing this back and forth, would be a little bit more um, suitable for YouTube. And I'm going to try to, and I do have a, a, a boatload of episodes of these Foodie Fridays here on Twitch. And we'll hopefully make them available to you to watch uh, as separate individual units on YouTube. Now let's get right to it, okay? Uh, for this Foodie Friday, yes, I have... A beverage and a snack. Spicy snack, I said. But let's start off with the beverage, which I have right here. It's called Weird Tea. There it is, right there. Weird Tea. A white peach oolong tea with other natural flavors. It's USDA organic and it's from, of all places, Austin, Texas, right there. Yeah, Austin, Texas. It's kind of cool. It says, shake gently, of course, please recycle. And if you want to check them out, they're at drinkweird.com. Of course, their address is right there. Drinkweird.com. And also on Instagram, I think, or that's probably a t either Instagram or Twitter. So drink weird right there, as you can tell. Yeah, no added preservatives. It's sweetened with juice and cane sugar. Balanced energy. Yes, it does have caffeine in it. About 80, um, 80, where, where was it? I think it said about 80 grams. Yeah, 80 milligrams a serving. Yeah, 80 milligrams of it in this one serving. Okay. Oof. You couldn't see it very well. Of course, amazing antioxidants, which is of course the peach and the long tea. It's only one serving right here with no fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, 23 grams of total carbohydrates, and total sugar, 23 grams, which includes 17 grams of added sugar. Of course, there's also 96 milligrams of potassium in it, and it's just organic long tea, which is a brew of that and purified water, organic cane sugar, organic apple juice, organic lemon juice, organic natural flavors, citric acid, and organic caffeine. This is organic up the wazoo. So we are going to do this. It does contain about 12% of, of fruit juice. So that, and it's non-carbonated, so it's better for you. I already have a cup with some ice in it. I had some tea this morning, so let's. Oh, oh, oh! Shoot! 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 
This looks here. Let me at least aim this down so you can see. Has a nice color, tea color, tea slash peach to it, as you can tell. So all right, yeah, it's uh it's it smells peachy. Smells peachy. Yes. Peachy king. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the peach flavor does come through really well. It's kind of a moderate flavor to it. Not too heavy, not too um oh oily, you might say. But usually when you get peaches, especially fresh peaches, they're either in water or in oil. And I don't like the oily taste, to be, to be honest. Uh, where this is concerned, since this is a purified water, it's not bad. It's not half bad. I mean, the peach flavor does come through quite a bit. I don't really taste the tea. But the tea itself, I know what oolong tea tastes like. And I think that because of the aftertaste, there's that tea-ish hint right behind that peach, which is, which I can tell. I mean, it does have that, it has a nice acidic taste to it. A nice acidic taste to it. Uh, I wanted to say something else, but I figured that might be uh, misconstrued in the wrong way. So thankfully that other word came into my mind. Yeah, it has that nice acid taste. Uh, it, it's a pleasant acid taste for, for tea, especially where oolong is concerned. And I really like the high tannins in tea. It's really good as a natural energizer. And of course, there is caffeine in it. So 80 milligrams, that's enough. I mean, that's just for a regular cup of coffee. A regular cup of coffee usually has about 86 milligrams of caffeine in it. This one only has 80. Very nice taste to it. Um, but would it pair well with the snack that I found and it's from China yes it comes from uh, I'm, I want to I want to get this correct it's by uh, Hangzhou want want foods company limited in the economic development district of Hangzhou in Zhejiang China it's this. It's a rice cracker bite. Spicy, of course, as it says. And it's uh, here on the back. Of course, this blurb. I'm going to read it. Tired of the same old snacks? Join the new snacking revolution. Rice cracker bites are tasty bite-sized snacks made of japonica rice. I think I'm saying that correctly. Japonica rice. J-A-P-O-N-I-C-A. Uh, rice cracker bites are uniquely light and crunchy, super tasty, and go great with your favorite drink. That's why I bought this weird tea to pair with this item. So the question is, first of all, uh, what one 
is very interesting. It contains, from what I can tell in the ingredients, no artificial ingredients or flavors to it. The ingredients are just japonica rice, palm oil, sugar, soy sauce, glutinous rice flour, potato starch, chili powder, yeast extract, uh, modified corn starch, salt, and for the redness, they use paprika. Is it a hot paprika? We'll find out. But of course, if you want to know more information, you can go to www.want-want.com. And this is actually distributed. Uh, let me see, it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's distributed by Elon Foods Industry Company Limited in Taiwan. Yes, this comes from the lovely island country of Taiwan. Tasty snack. Rice cracker bites, spicy. Yeah, this is about three and a half ounces. And of course, there's about three and a half servings per container. In the nutrition facts, there's about 18 pieces, which is about 30 grams, uh, 11 grams of total fat, only 5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 220 milligrams of sodium, so if you do have some uh, sodium problem, uh, you'll have to avoid these definitely. But uh, 17 grams of total carbohydrates, which includes no fiber, but at least 4 grams of sugar, total sugar. And all of that is just added sugar. Uh, there is a little bit of vitamin D, calcium, iron, even potassium in it. Let's break into these bad boys and see what, how they taste. Hey, quote, yeah. Freaky Friday, thank you for coming in. How's it going, buddy? Just doing a little snack review here. Just did the first part of Weird Tea, which is, of course, in uh, Austin, Texas. Pairing it with this stuff, we're going to see how that tastes. Ooh, the smell. Hmm. Hmm. Smells a little bit stale, but... Um, Maybe it's because it might be the pepper used. And of course, this is what it looks like. This is the rice cake right there. Yeah, allegedly spicy. Because before I did um, a spicy scallop, wasn't that spicy at all. But let's see. I'm, I'm always pretty good on spicy. Uh, I've done ghost pepper. I've done that one chip challenge. and. To me, it wasn't much of a challenge. It just tasted more like a Dorito chip than anything else. But, going all in. Mmm. Wow. That's not bad. Tiny bit spicy. But it does have that sweet flavor to it. It's and it's and it's more like honey than it. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, it, it can get a little bit spicy, especially in your throat. Going down, and what's really interesting is that it tastes more like honey. But it doesn't say in the ingredients that it has honey, but it just tastes like it. It's probably because of the uh, MSG that's in it, as well as the potato starch, because most of those items can actually kind of come together. Uh, not really tack is spicy, but um, I had reviewed some tack items before, and I like those because they have a good this just has a great spicy flavor to it that most anyone can handle. 
and I think it should pair well, especially with this peach and oolong tea. Yep, that actually does real well. I like that. I usually go to a um, grocery outlet. It's the local store here in Azusa. And I find a lot of interesting, all the interesting chips and uh, desserts and whatnot and drinks, of course. I, and I get them at a really low price. Uh, these were 99 cents. This was only 50 cents. So it's, it's not bad, especially for, um, for a little bit in my cup here. It's really not a bad pairing. It just tastes kind of honey-ish. And since I already had two, only 18, only, let me see, 16 more to go. But it does kind of glisten. It's that's probably because of the glutinous rice. I don't know whether you can see the glistening effect of that or not. Probably kind of catch it along right here. Yeah. That's the sweet. And it does have a little stickiness to it. It's not bad. Uh, I would say that uh, this is a hit. I definitely recommend these. Tasty Snacks Rice uh, rice Cracker Bites, Spicy, by uh, Want Want. By Want Want Foods. Want Want. Okay. Mm. I'm Cameron F89 here in Azusa, California at the local McDonald's. 980 East Velasta Avenue, aka Route 66, using McDonald's Wi Fi for this broadcast. Thank you for joining, appreciate it, and I will see you on my Moody Monday and also play a game at the same time. Thank you so much. I will see you next time, or you never know when I might pop up next especially when it comes to it again. So thank you once again. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.